remember that pixelated Mario hopping through blocky clouds? Or Lara Croft, a polygon princess battling jaggy edges? Ah, uh, those were the days when machines saw the world through a prism of clunky pixels, with their understanding as limited as a 2D side-scroller. Boy, Dr. Damo here to explain what the fear computer vision is. In simple layman terms, because life's too short to read through dry text, at Beer, we do a lot of work with computer vision. I'll put links in the video description to some of the cool shit that we do. So, what is computer vision? Computer vision is a field where computers are no longer confined to the digital realm, but are learning to see and understand the physical world around us. In other words, the machines are not just seeing, they're perceiving the world in ways that would make Mario's head spin. You'd be surprised just how many applications are in the wild running some form of computer vision, from early 80s and 70s gaming, much like your basic light gun, to the most complex of medical imaging technology. Here are some examples. And it's not just about robots replicating human sight, although witnessing an AI massively dodge your attacks in Overwatch would be pretty epic. Computer vision goes far beyond mere recognition like recognizing cats in photos or recognizing your duffer to unlock your iPhone. Instead, think of it like cracking a secret code. Instead of ones and zeros, the language is light, color and shape. Every pixel, a symbol. Every edge, a brushstroke in a narrative that unfolds before the silicon eyes of these digital oracles. And the Dakota Ring? A symphony of algorithms powered by the tireless hum of neural networks trained on mountains of images, devouring patterns and relationships like ravenous data beasts. Imagine a self-driving car navigating a bustling city, not just reading traffic lights but interpreting pedestrian intent from body language. Can your Teslas do that, huh, Elon? or a surgeon wielding a scalpel guided by machine learning powered vision. Not just anatomical maps, but real-time insights into tissue health and potential complications. Think of it like a detective story, where every pixel is a clue. Algorithms become forensic investigators sifting through mountains of data to identify patterns, correlations, and the elusive meaning behind the visual tapestry. They learn to read the wrinkles on a face, the way light dances on fabric, the telltale signs of an impending equipment failure before the first bolt loosens. This isn't magic, it's the meticulous dance of deep learning, the brainchild of AI that devours images like a starving artist and paints the canvas of understanding with every bite. Hold up, hold up. What's deep learning? Good question, Steph. But this video isn't about deep learning. If you guys want an explainer video of deep learning, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, the numbers are staggering. A single model might require petabytes of data, equivalent to 10 million high definition movies. But the payoff is real, with machine learning systems achieving human levels of accuracy in tasks like object detection and image classification. Now, unlike traditional programming, computer vision thrives on ambiguity. It embraces the pixelated chaos of a busy street, the blurred beauty of a rainy day, the subtle nuances of human uh. expression. <laughs> It essentially learns to see the world as it is, not as we code it to be. Imagine a future where security cameras don't just record footage, they analyze body language, predict criminal intent, and even offer real-time emotional support to stressed out commuters. Or a world where smartphones understand not just our words, but the unspoken language of our expressions, adapting their interfaces and responses to our changing moods. These aren't just distant dreams, they are the nascent whispers of a future brimming with possibility, but with great power comes great responsibility. Biases can lurk in algorithms, ethical considerations cloud the use of facial recognition, and the potential for misuse looms large. Hey, in fact, I even talked about ethical considerations with my XR headset in this LinkedIn post. I'll pop the link in the description if you really want to read my brief thoughts on it. So, how does computer vision go beyond basic recognition? This is achieved through advanced techniques like object detection, finding and outlining specific objects within an image, like identifying traffic signs in a self-driving car's camera feed, semantic segmentation, understanding the context of an image, like distinguishing between a crowd of people and the street that they're standing on, image tracking, following the movement of an object across multiple frames, 
For example, tracking a bird in flight for wildlife monitoring. Action recognition, detecting and classifying specific actions in a video, like identifying a doctor performing surgery or a child playing a game. And finally, and my favorite use case, position and movement detection. By tracking what we call features within an image and then matching features between subsequent images, we can understand how a camera moves in the real world. That's how all your fancy Tesla vehicles know which way not to turn. When they do work, that is. All right, got any questions? Drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you with some answers.